If you roll a pair of regular dice, what are the possible outcomes? This table shows the sum for each possible roll, so for example, if die 1 is a 3 and die 2 is a 5, we get 8. In fact, you see that there are 5 ways to produce the number 8. This table shows the frequency distribution of all the possible outcomes, the numbers from 2 to 12. Again, we see that there are 5 ways to produce an 8. Okay, this is all standard, but here's the crazy question. Is there a different way to label the dice with positive integers so that the frequency distribution stays the same? Remarkably, there is. In the 1970s, George Zekerman found this new labeling with 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 on one die and 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 on the other die. If we look, for example, for a sum of 8, we find 5 possibilities, just like with the regular dice. This table shows that we have the same distribution for every number like before. How on earth would you find these weird dice? Let's see how to mathematically approach this. We represent the roll of one regular die with this polynomial. Why? We can write it like this. This means that if we roll the die, there is one way to get a 3, one way to get a 5, or any other number from 1 to 6. What if we roll two dice? Then we square the polynomial. This expands to produce this expression. This tells us that there are five ways to get an 8, just like we saw before. The polynomial for one die can be factored like this, and of course we could do the same for a second die. Now take the factor x squared minus x plus 1 from die 1 and give it to die 2. The product of these two polynomials hasn't changed, but expanding each polynomial individually produces this. These polynomials no longer represent regular dice, they are the Zekerman dice. This is the only way to produce two distinct six-sided dice that give the same distribution as a regular pair of dice. We can push this idea to a pair of different sized dice. For example, if the dice could have four sides and nine sides, here is the way to get the same results as two regular dice. These are the polynomials that produce this new combination. Here's a question for you. Can you find two other ways to get the standard distribution with a four-sided die and a nine-sided die? Note that to get only one outcome of two, you know that the lowest numbers on each die must be a one. Can you fill in the rest of the table?